Lions, I'm Genevieve Lyons from Lions Property Mentoring. This week we are talking companies and trusts because understanding the different options when structuring your property portfolio is the first step towards successful investment. So here's a pretty brief outline to help get you started. So what's a trust? A trust is a business structure that requires a trustee, a trust and beneficiaries. The trustee holds property and earns and distributes income. The trustee, which is often set up to be a company, technically owns the property and distributes the income to the beneficiaries of the trust, who are usually immediate family members. The trustee is empowered to distribute the trust income to the beneficiaries in the proportions that they choose. This is really important as it's a fantastic tax minimization strategy, as someone who would have had a larger taxable income can now split the profit amounts to others with lower tax thresholds. Should I set up a separate tax structure for each property? This is completely up to the individual. However, it's wise not to put too many properties in the one trust, and it's quite common for investors to set up a separate tax structure for each one. Having only one or two properties per trust increases the level of asset protection. I know people that set up a trust for each property and then others that have a few in each. So talk to the accountant about what best suits your situation. What is a company? A company is a separate legal entity from its owners. It can sue and be sued in its own name, separate from its owner. It can either be private or public, and it's run by directors and owned by shareholders. Why should I set up a company? There are lots of benefits associated with establishing a company. Company shareholders can benefit from income splitting, and profits can also be retained at the, and then taxed at the 30% corporate rate. Again, assets within the company are protected, especially if the company shares are owned by a discretionary trust. It took me a while to get my head around this topic when first starting out, but that does not mean that you're allowed to ignore it just because you don't understand it yet. Trust me, it will cost you a lot more in the long run if you avoid it. Obviously, I want you to seek professional advice before making any decisions around companies or trusts, but for more tips and tricks on all things property investing, subscribe here and head to the website to sign up for the training ring. Happy investing!